Hello and welcome. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorissimo with Astigio. Factorissimo. How's, how's it going? How's Astigio? Uh, I asked first. Yeah. I'm, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm doing well. What, what have you done up here? There's like all these four belts going into a single pile. Why, why did you do this at the end? Huh? Oh, so that I could... Uh, I was testing stuff. And you can stand on that single tile and hold F to see like oh. how much is getting rid of. Smart. Yeah. Very smart. <laughs> I'm smart. Hey. All right. So you had uh, just mentioned that we actually are down to a very very small number. Uh, hack splitters. Point one. So we we've cut the hack splitter footprint basically in a tenth since we started the last episode. Checking There's out. Still some out there. Uh, I had two other things on my list and I forgot to mention them. So, since okay. we're, you know, in, requesting crap from the, de the devs. <laughs> Yay! Uh, for the major multiplayer stuff we've been doing, I've got just two quick things. Number one, an option in multiplayer settings menu to disallow reconnects after disconnect. Disconnect. So right now I think that they're allowed to like re try to reconnect three times, uh, which is really annoying. <laughs> if they, if you have a hundred players in your game and, and and every person that disconnects tries to reconnect three times before they get kicked. Um, you're sending them the map a ton of times, and these maps are getting like 50, 60 megabytes large. That's a lot of data to send to somebody that's just going to end up in a desync loop. So I'd prefer to just have an option in the launch menu that says, don't allow reconnects. Like, if they disconnect, if they desync, just kick them. Just get them out so that everyone else can keep playing. If they want to try to reconnect, that's fine, but the whole disconnect desync thing is just obnoxious. Yeah. Uh, and then one last thing, the option to maybe possibly just flat out disable doodads. Period. If you wanted to have a, uh, a better performing save, yeah, just give me a do that option. Yeah, I mean they're they're aesthetically pleasing. They certainly add a lot, and I know that when they added them to the game, they were probably thinking, "Hey, this is going to be really good for the single player experience," which is exactly what Factory was like really catered toward. But uh, for people who do want to do the big multiplayer, like like we have been, uh, it'd be nice if you could just not have that. Yeah, just no do that's. Yeah, do that be gone. Do that optional. And with that, I'm done, you know, whining and complaining and asking for things. We you have no plastic. Just call it a don't There is none plastic. Why is there none plastic? Let's go find out. Coal. Coal is the issue. Oh. Ah, uh, yep. There it is. The coal belt's empty. I think we had shunted almost all of the coal off toward that uh, power storage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Wow. Uh, steel pickaxes feel very slow to me because I'm used to having diamond pickaxes or whatever in bomb spots. Mm, yeah. Choo choo! Oh, it's so nice having personal roboport though. I don't actually have one of those in bombs. So, should I try to work on this recursion thing a bit more? I mean, we could go deeper. Right? Like, uh, the reason we had stopped on working on this one is because the power was not good enough. I think I'm gonna go work on Productivity 3 and uh, Speed 3s before I do that. One other thing we should try maybe using is some hazard concrete. Or concrete in general. I don't think we're using concrete. No, I don't think we are. Hazard concrete can be really nice to indicate where, like, pipes are and stuff when you're driving a car while zoomed out. Alright. It's hazardous to your health, you know? It's too much like barbying. <laughs> One of the things I've gotten incredibly used to is uh, the Bob's Mods funky directional splitters or uh, inserters. Yeah. I've started. I, someone had commented recently that, uh, hey, there's this thing you can do where uh, you can make splitters perform better. Or, uh, sorry, not splitters, inserters. All you have to do is just use the uh, like a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle and then they don't turn as far and so then they, they actually perform better than normal. And so yeah. now almost every inserter in my factory is a 45 degree angle splitter or sorry inserter. For God's sakes. <laughs> because it's better. And I like it. Fair enough. Good enough reason, as right? Long as, as long as you're happy. Now oh, we're getting some plastic now. All right. Okay. So this is a. Oh, this is just a factory that makes plastic. Okay, I can see that. Hmm. 
All right, so we got uh, 19, almost 1900 construction robots. I would like, oh yeah, <laughs> Foreman. Yeah, Foreman's a thing and it's awesome. Uh, four belt unload, I think that's what I want. Oh, no, that is not what I want, that is way too big. Is there any just, like, a single unloader? Or is it all four belt unload? Uh, I don't know. I haven't, we haven't played this save in over a week. True. I've forgotten everything. All right, I was gonna go work on productivity threes. And I did just set up concrete and hazard concrete's uh, production. So if you want to do any of that, you do that. Okay. Auto save. Oh. <laughs> the, uh, nice. The, uh, what? <laughs> the blueprint is set to iron ore. So I just got delivered a fuck ton of iron ore. <laughs> The blueprint is set, and so yeah. Bought... There's a there's a blueprint for the um, making unloads. Mm -hmm. uh, it's four belt unload, I think it's called, and it's set to just give iron ore. Like the requester chests are already set to iron ore, so when oh, you place it down, yeah, it's like, oh, yeah. you need iron ore here, have it. Yeah, maybe we should rename that. I'm gonna rename that so that it's indicated that that's what that does. Four belt unload, or just take away the iron ore from it. <laughs> No. I mean, I don't think that we're going to actually need to do one for each type, but I do like having it auto-configured, just because, at least in that one circumstance, it's going to be... It's going to be right. <laughs> it's going to be done all the time. It'll be just automatic. Are okay, they bringing me any concrete? There's a little bit of concrete. We have a lot of robots, and yet, uh... Should go sort power a little bit, looks like. I think, I mean, I, I almost always do this. I usually prefer to just have pure solar toward the end. I think we should just move in that direction. Yeah. Like, do, uh, could you do one of those? We could do one of the power setups where we make accumulators fire before steam. Yeah. And only turn the accumulators on, or sorry, only turn the steam on if we, uh... Oh, it? it's like, it's incredibly easy now. Oh yeah? Yeah, you just shove a green circuit next to an accumulator. A green green wire onto an accumulator to a power switch. Done. Right, uh, and that, that power connects to the steam area, right? Yes. So the power lines are <laughs> cut. Although we've got so many fucking power lines down next to the steam area. <laughs> yeah, I could work on organizing that, or I could work on making the uh, the modules. One of the two. Uh, you work on modules, I'll just organize all this shit. Although the factory will probably shut down while I'm doing this. That's okay, we've got plenty of solar. Oh, I gotta reset, uh... You know what I'm gonna do? You know what? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make a upgrade wood planner. I'm just gonna remove this robot and put it back down. <laughs> Cause that's a mod that we have. It'll automatically deconstruct all these stupid trees that have somehow found their way inside the solar grid, which annoys the hell out of me. Like, the part of the drawback, one of the drawbacks to the squeak through mod is that, uh, it allows trees to fit between the solar panels. <laughs> God. Which is, it's, it's not, I, it's just funny looking. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, that is just so beautiful how quick and painless that is to do that. Is there a way to zoom out farther? Um, yes. It's a console command. Hmm. Man, just plopping down and picking up a roboport is a really easy way to, uh... Deconstruct a whole huge amount of trees without having to do a box select and, like, pick the right area. Yeah.
Okay, so you said you're going to sort, sort the power thing, and I'm going to go continue working on Productivity 3, Speed 3. Yes. And we already had the discussion last week, I think, about how uh, efficiency modules are kind of pointless, really. Even though a long time ago, I thought that they were the best. Yeah. They're like the only one I ever used. But Ah, they're... okay, so copper co copper cable is an intermediate. Yeah, because that's what it is nine times out of ten. Technically, it should be an energy. Uh, no. No, I disagree. Well, you can disagree all you like. Doesn't make you right. Sure does. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then... Alright, and if we grab you here and you here. Hmm. And then and energy. Okay, so where is the power switch? Because it's not an energy. Our switch is uh, related to robots, so it's in the bottom of logistics. It's related to robots? Yeah, all the combinators and crap. Combinators, wiring, Oh. logistics. Sorry, I just control F. I'm sick now. <laughs> I'm sick of doing this. <laughs> it's just control F it. Okay, you're allowed. You're, you're more than willing to, welcome to do that. Okay, so we set up... Productivity two ones to twos, and now it needs to be upgraded to threes. I need an accumulator. We have crafting speed research, don't we? Yeah, oh yeah, we have tons. I couldn't remember if that mod was in it or not. Lately, I've started just using a. Uh, for auto trash, I just use the auto trash anything that's not requested. It's just so much easier. And if if you're actually trying to like manually craft something that you need, you just pause auto auto trash. It just gets rid of so much junk from your inventory. I love it. Yeah. Whenever um, I get annoyed by my inventory, I do it. We have a power plant building that's still connected. How many power plant buildings do we have? Uh, three, I think. Oh, where the fuck's the third one? Oh shit! Okay. Southeast, I think. Yeah, I see it. We did. We ran out of water, so we had to do that. Oh, yep. There goes all the power. Steve, Joe, you broke it. I told you I was breaking it. Yeah, but did you have to break all of it? Yeah. It's kind of the oh. point. Oh. Well, fair enough. <laughs> The only thing that's messed up with the Z group change thing is this uh, robot army mod, and I messed about with it a little bit, but uh, stopped because it was being annoying to me. <laughs> yeah, person. that's what I like to see. Click on the a... the power. Mhm. Mm Four thousand solar panels. Huh? What what is it that you like to see? Oh, oh none, I think none power? Got, no, I think we've got a, a separated. I'm showing, I'm on the bus right now and I've got 80, 90 megawatts from 4,000 solar panels. Yeah, we've got separated lines. The accumulator charge is at zero right now, so we're not, uh, accumulators aren't connected to the network. You, you done messed it up. Mang. No, we've got, we've got like two separated power lines right now. Okay, we'll fix it. Solar grid's to the south. That's the solar. Put 
Looks like the solar grid's just not connected. You're connecting not solar. You've routed the whole thing through. Solar should always be connected, yes? There we go. Now it's all connected. Yeah, we... now look at it. That's what I like to see. What is it you like to see? The <laughs> accumulator like, charge? Sitting at zero? We don't have no solar, basically, is what you're saying. Yes. All right, well, why don't we have no Although, solar? Is it, it, was, it was nighttime, so... <clears throat> where's solar where are solar panels made? Solar panels are made here, they're being made. Accumulators are not being made. There are none batteries. Because oh uh, that's right, oh that's right. We were bleeding batteries off of signs, which is silly. Yes. And then I stopped that. Well did you replace it? Probably not. Yeah, it sounds like you. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have enough solar right now, which is why you can see everything's flicking on and off. Have you heard of a, a thing called a, a latch? How'd you mean? There's this thing called a latch, which uh, instead of making it flick on and off all the time, you can make it like turn off only when it reaches a certain threshold and then turn back on uh, once it's above a certain threshold. Oh, yeah. But why? <laughs> I don't know. So that it doesn't flicker? I don't mean to flicker. You Means don't. something wrong. Yeah, that's a good point. When your lights start flickering, you're like, oh shit, power is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Probably sort that. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a good point. I am going to place... No, I don't. I'm, no, no. I was going to place a hat splitter, but then I was like, no, the only reason for placing a hat splitter there would be so that it looks nicer to me. Yeah. Functionally, makes... there's no fucking point. And it makes the game run poor, so yeah, let's not do that. We need more copper. Right. Hmm. Is it just, yeah. no, I know I'm going to use a single hack splitter. Because it doesn't make it, it's not that it makes it look better to me. It does actually functionally change stuff. I've just completely stopped using that mod. I, I don't even bother with it anymore. I uh, remove them from my taskbar and... Not gonna do it! Can't make me do it. I think we only need one. Or... Maybe, yeah, one for each pair of belts that we've got. So on each bus, you need like one for the lower pair and one for the upper pair. And then that is it. That is all you need. Or you could just do the squirrely doodads. Which I mean, the squirrely doodads probably take less resources. <laughs> Not in-game resources, but like computational resources. Mm -hmm. Anyway, what are you working on? I'm um, trying to get my taskbar lined up in a way that makes sense to me right now. I'm trying to get uh, <laughs> speed threes and speed uh, productivity threes hooked up. Just finished the science for productivity threes, and now I'm just getting the hookups going. Gotta get some alien artifacts over here. We're gonna need a lot more advanced circuits and processing units. So that's gonna be the next thing. So weird having to use long-handed inserters. Yeah. Perfect. I love having the longer underground belt. Oh yeah, it's great. 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 <laughs> you heard me. Um, I'm gonna change that and... 
Hey, Arimba. Yeah. I think it's that time. No. Yeah. Hey, why'd you cut? Why'd you cut all the power? You didn't. I didn't. Never mind. <laughs> I haven't done anything. Leave me alone. Eh, uh, it's just me. I uh, I was trying to use the, the, the bigger. I've gotten used to using substations. Mm, the really, yeah. really big ones in Bob's and uh. Ah. Uh, okay. Now the time, even even the upgraded like medium electric poles from Bob's are just so insufficient. <laughs> ah, I found some uh, height splitters. Where were they? Uh, down at the red circuits. Red circuit assembly. Oh. All right. Well, uh, we got to wrap it up here. We'll be back though tomorrow. So thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.